What is up, Gear Squad? Chain Gear here, bringing you another video, and today is day two of hashtag LMGR week. LMGR underscore week. Don't forget that. If you guys are making videos out there, make sure you go ahead and type hashtag LMGR underscore week. Also, if you're making videos, you guys are participating, let us know what your builds are. Let us know how your KDs are. Let us know what you think about the LMGR um, and, and all your videos and everything in the form post that I have created on the forms. It is there. You guys can click the link in the description and post all about the LMGR and hashtag LMGR week. So let us know how you guys are feeling about that. Of course, always let me know in the comment section below, but get the whole community involved by getting in the forums as well. Um, so before I get started with this build, you guys can see it here in the gameplay. Um, I did want to mention if you want to see the entire build for this gun, all the different parts, then you'll have to go to the form post itself so you guys can see all the different all the different pieces so if you want to build it yourself. Uh, with the new update that's supposed to come out we'll be able to have a code so I can just give you the code and you guys can try it out yourself um, but that's not the case yet so for now if you guys want to see the full build go ahead and jump over to the forms otherwise let's go ahead and pause the gameplay real quick and take a look at this and this is the actual build for the LMGR Now you guys can see on top there's a different set of numbers and that's the default and so let's jump right into it we've got 68 damage for the default and 67 for the max speed now the max speed that's what we're building this for was okay I'm just gonna kind of give you my general idea here I thought it was all right but we'll, we'll go more in depth but you can see down below the run speed is 7.74 now that's not that fast it's good but it's not that fast and I could have got it faster if I changed my own gear, but in general, like the run speed, you guys can see the run speed for the default is pretty slow. And the run speed for this one was definitely a lot faster. And that's how I really like to play CQC. Um, but you guys can see the damage, only one point difference. And that's that's pretty good. Um, it's, at, it's higher than 66, and that's really important because that means it's only gonna take three shots to kill any normal player, anyone who's running 200 or lower. Now, if they're running more, it's only gonna take one more. So four bullet maximum, um, but three bullet, you know, minimum for a, a base character. Otherwise, it could take, you know, honestly, it wouldn't take much at all to kill any. Like if you had 150, you know, we're, I mean, it's still three, but you know, it's, 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 you're not, you're not taking nearly as much time. So a good weapon for sure. But go ahead and look down, fire rate the same, and the ammo drops considerably. The ammo was at 60, and now it's at 40. We'll talk about that in a minute. But the reload is shaved off for a second. Um, the swap rate never changes, but this, the spread, you guys can see, um, has changed quite a lot. The spread actually got worse besides the movement spread. And that was what made this gun work for me. The majority of the time, I was not scoping in. The majority of the time, I was hip firing. And that was really, really impressive. I can't remember who it was. I think it was the Proud Noob um, on the last video mentioned that they definitely want, that we're trying out um, a, a, a max move or a min move, the best move spread um, gun for a build for the LMGR. And I think that's a really great idea because the LMGR, if you can just kind of creep up on people and hip fire at them, um, you're going to be able to keep moving through the map and flow really, really well, especially if you're doing the whole stealthy bit i was really impressed by the movement um spread on the lmgr in general with all the different builds that i have been trying this one just really seemed to work out but in general the move spread is awesome just wanted to put that out there um but the fire rate is still super slow and that's where i really have a problem if you're ever 1v1ing you just are at a disadvantage the only good thing again is that movement that movement spread allows you to not have to scope in at long ranges. 
Like, you don't have to be that close up with the LMGR. Uh, it's, again, just that fire rate. And now that you have less ammo, this was probably the worst part of this weapon. Not just the fire rate, but plus the ammo. Once you shoot off those 40 rounds, and I told you guys before, you should be pre-firing a lot with this weapon, you're out of ammo and you're still reloading for three seconds. Now, three seconds isn't a ton, but it's only a second off from the normal build. And that, ah, it just, it was really messing up my mojo. I'm so used to having to reload, but at this point I was like, okay, you know what? I won't reload because I know I have a large clip, but it wasn't that large. And it really didn't speed it up all that much. So, but like I said, if you guys look at the spread, the spread, you know, didn't get any better besides the movement. The recoil got a, oh, well, it got, it got, you know, worse for sure. But it, again, it wasn't terrible, especially comparatively to some of the other guns out there. Uh, and then the scope in time and all that stuff, you guys can see the scope in time was a lot lower, which is what we're always looking for. Um, but I'm just going to kind of stop here now and let you guys know. Let's turn back to the gameplay and this gun in general, right? Like we talk about the default build, it's fine. Like the LMGR is usable. I don't ever see, I don't ever foresee a reason to actually use it because you could just use the LMG or the heavy or, you know, we'll, we'll go over that later, but the LMG, the heavy, or even the AR, and you'll probably get a better response. Um, but it is usable. You know, like if you have to use the LMGR, maybe you're doing a tournament where you can't use all the same weapons. Um, or if you're just trying to challenge yourself, this weapon is definitely usable. So, you know, with the max speed, really all I saw here was that, yeah, it was easy for me to get to one place to another, but you'll see in the gameplay that I didn't really do that much, and I think a lot of that is just because I was playing DM, Deathmatch. But I think if I was playing with my clan, playing with a group of people, playing objectively, I could hop onto a point, throw down um, a blackout or something, and just be able to get to where I need to go quickly and start laying down fire. Um, I'd love to see what the LMG max speed build looks like uh, and seeing how much damage it outputs and things like that. And we'll definitely get to that later. Um, you know, later on in, you know, in, in the next, who knows when, but at some point, a gun week will be for the LMG. But for the LMGR, uh, this weapon is, is viable. Um, would I recommend a max speed build? No. No, I would not. <laughs> um, I would stick to the high ammo. Honestly, get as much ammo as you can on this weapon, and I think you'll see um, a big improvement. I mean, you can just keep firing. Use it either as a support weapon or as you flank and as you gank, and if you do that, then you're going to be able to, you know, really, you're not going to have to worry about ammo conservation. Starting off with 60 rounds is a lot. And so sooner or later, you know, we're going to be doing probably some builds with max, you know, ma you know, just tons of ammo, you know, max aim, max damage. It's actually highly possible that you guys will see Drugen Fruits max aim video, which I believe he's doing, and Payback Cobra, his max damage video which I did mention before that I think that he might do his uh, in a, you know, the next um, you know the next gun week, but I think he may do it on this channel um, for this week. So that's basically it for me, guys. Um, you know, I, I, like I said, I thought that this build was okay. Let me know if you guys had any other max speed builds and let me know how LMG week has been. LMGR, LMGR, LMGR. God, the LMG recon. I just, I can't even handle this gun so much that I don't even like saying its name. The LMGR, hashtag LMGR underscore week. Let me know how it's been working out for you guys. Check out the forums. I'll see you on Twitter at Chain Gear Game. You guys need to tweet at me. Come on. Be, be friendly. Um, also, I want to thank everybody for sending me emails at, at Chain Gear Gaming, um, well, Chain Gear Gaming at gmail.com. I've been getting a ton of emails from you guys about collabs. Some of you have just been saying thank you for what you do, and I honestly really appreciate that. Um, I'll definitely be doing some specific shout outs for people who are thanking me and, and you know just kind of getting involved. I really appreciate that. Some of you have even just given me critiques like, hey, can you do more of this or less of this? Um, I really love GearCast, but it's too long, those kind of things. So the more you guys email me, the more you tweet at me, the better this show hopefully will get, uh, this whole YouTube channel. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, but let me know what you guys are thinking in the comment section below. Share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Otherwise, I will see you guys online. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot, guys.